The future recruits for the Marines will actually be coming here to the Citadel for a two-week quarantine period prior to going on to Paris Island. We found uh, an opportunity, a mutually beneficial opportunity, I think, to, from the Marine Corps' perspective, but also the, the Citadel's perspective. The Marines call this a staging process. Future recruits will self-quarantine for 14 days prior to coming to the Citadel. They will be tested for COVID-19 when they arrive, and they will be spending 14 days at the Citadel isolated in groups of 25. Now on the 15th day, they will be bused to 13 weeks of basic training at Paris Island. The Marine Corps uh, has a paramount mission to continue to make Marines uh, for the broader Marine Corps so that we can uh, ensure that we have a steady supply of Marines going into the broader force so we can respond when the nation calls. They had been separating future recruits in 25-person tents at Paris Island. Several future recruits had tested positive there. The Marines will now bring those future Paris Island recruits to the Citadel's Paget Thomas Barracks. Um, from Paris Island, we're going from tents with uh, 25 pulleys in them to having rooms of two to four. So um, basically from kind of con like contact tracing and um, doing those investigations, we suspect that it will be much easier to isolate. About 300 future recruits will begin the process. Eventually 600 as well as 300 instructors at any given time will be involved. Even if a future recruit tests positive for coronavirus, they can still move on to Paris Island once they recover. We can uh, identify in advance those individuals who may be um, uh, symptomatic of COVID, of a coronavirus, uh, and, and we can treat them, we can provide for the necessary care and sustainment of those individuals before they go down to the yellow footprints and, and start a, a very rigorous training program and recruit training. Those first future recruits are expected here on campus tomorrow. In downtown Charleston at the Citadel, I'm Raymond Owens, Count on Two.